Hi friends, welcome to Fresh Bites. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make eggless bread pudding. This stunning dessert is coated with a caramel sauce. It is so smooth and delicate that it melts in the mouth. Do subscribe to my channel Fresh Bites and press the bell icon to never miss any update. Let's get started. I have taken four bread slices, chop them roughly and blend them to a fine powder. You can take any stainless steel bowl and grease the base with some ghee. Let's begin making the caramel sauce. In a saucepan, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of water. Cook this on a medium heat. First the sugar dissolves and then it starts to boil. After a couple of minutes, the sugar will bubble up and begin to darken. Stir it occasionally. Be careful, do not burn it or you may have to start over again. The sauce is ready when it turns deep golden in color. I am going to remove this from the heat and pour it to the greased bowl and set it aside. For the bread pudding, I am going to add 3 tablespoons of custard powder, 1 cup of sugar, and one and a half cup of milk. The milk is in room temperature. Whisk them well and be sure there is no lumps formed. Now I'm going to cook this in a medium flame. Keep stirring them continuously or they'll clump up. After a few minutes, the custard mixture will start to thicken up. At this consistency, you can remove it from the flame. I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee. To this, let's add the powdered bread slices. Add them in batches and mix them well. At this stage, you can also add a few dry fruits of your choice. Pour the custard mixture carefully into the bowl. Do not fill it till the end, just even the top layer and now we are going to steam cook this. To cover this with a foil and make a couple of steam vents with a knife. If you don't have a foil, you can also use a loose fitting stainless steel lid. I have kept this on a medium flame. This will take 40 to 45 minutes to cook. It's been 45 minutes and the pudding is ready. I'm going to take this out and allow it to cool for some time. I ran a knife along the edges of the pudding. Now let us invert this onto a serving plate. Tap it gently and lift the bowl. The caramelized bread pudding is ready to be served warm or you can even keep it in a refrigerator and serve it cold. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel Fresh Bites. I'll soon come up with another recipe. Thank you.